Hello everyone, Zags and Ninja here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to tune the gears properly. Because, uh, you know, many people make this mistake. They put too many gears in their car, or like, uh, or not enough, but that rarely happens. Most of the time it's too many. Like, this car here has six gears. See, like, not really unusual. Like, uh, the top speed is around where you think it should be as well like not people would often do this like where the max you can go is like 209 but uh, it's probably not going to reach that in a race so you know maybe tune it for 200 and uh, or 205 uh, again 205 might not be that great so 200 probably give it more acceleration right so that's what I've done here, like sort of typical tune, 6 gears, 200. And uh, first gear isn't that unusual, it's an all-wheel drive car. And this is the rest of the tuning anyway. Not too unusual, just uh, what everyone does really. So when I go into the Juggernaut here, just to test uh, the acceleration. Okay, so now I've just started rivals with the Juggernaut. I'm racing someone in a proper drag car, but that doesn't really matter. I'm just here to test the time. So, shifting up, but uh, I think I've made a bit of a mistake on the first gear, so I'm going to restart just so. Uh, you know everything's uh, perfect. Like, don't want to be having any anomalies for uh, times. Like, want to be my fastest, but with a six gear setup. So just shifting, pretty much just as I go into off the red line, which is usually the fastest, depending on what car you have. But I'll be doing that throughout all the runs here anyway, so it shouldn't change any times. But I'm about topping out at 200 here like I set it to be. Uh, this is a drag strip though, so it's like you wouldn't really be hitting this on a race anyway. But uh, even so, when I'm going on the corners, I am falling below 200 and accelerating back up. But so when I finish, you know, I get 11.344 seconds away from arrival time, or 54.597 for that, and I do another one, 6 gears, just the same. Just bed it up a bit. Yeah, 54.6 or, you know, similar times. And another one did pretty much the same thing, 54.5 or 11.33 off the rival time. But uh, so that's about the consistency of what I've been doing. Like it's you know it's all the same. There's not not really getting any differences with six gears. So I'll go into the tuning and. Well, what happens if you remove two gears? You know, this might seem unusual, like, wouldn't you get less acceleration with less gears? Because you are not in the high enough revs. But, uh... It's not really the case with that, I'll show you why in a minute. But, uh, so here I've got four gears, haven't changed the first gear to make it, you know, all consistent. Like, don't want anything changing anything. So, here yeah, the first gear is the same, so my launch should be the same speed, now into second, third, and fourth. So it won't be going any higher than fourth. And fourth was as high as the sixth gear as when I tuned it, as you could see, it was like 0 0.78 or whatever it was. The max speed should be 200 with the same, I mean with a... Uh, 
with four gears. Should be two hundred with four gears. So yeah, same as the six gears. The only difference is that this has four, the other one has six. There's no other difference really. But as you can see when I get towards the end, you might notice that I'm going a bit faster, it's hard to tell. But uh when I finish here my time is if my time is a, a bit quicker, like uh, 11.47 off the rival time or 54.4 seconds overall but well I'll do another race because that might have been an anomaly like I could have just got lucky or whatever see another one still 11.1 .1 off the rival time or 54.3 so even faster well, I'll try again you know how come it's faster than 6 gears there's no way well still is 11.1 .1 off the rival time so it seems to be quicker. Well, I'll show you why in a minute. Also, sorry about no sound. There's a there was a problem with my speakers. Might think it fixes itself later, but anyway. Yeah, let's look at the engine uh, curve. So that's one, two, three, four, five. 6,000 revs and 7,000 revs. So I want to be around this 6 7 area here when, when I shift up because the, the power sort of drops off below 6, and when you rev up, you go you know, all the way to roughly 10. So you're in about a good power range there, from like 6,000 plus. But like usually when you have 6 gears, you're often in like 8,000 plus or like 7,000 plus and you're you're sort of in the same sort of power area but you're wasting time shifting so when I uh, quit out here I'll show you the revs of when I go around this track here so I'm in first second I go to about 6,000 five and a half maybe third I'm in about 6,000 so I'll shift again Third, it starts at about six, ju just after six thousand, which is quite good. Like that's the perfect range for the power band. And fourth, and I'm um, about six, seven thousand. So I don't really need to be revving any higher than seven thousand when I shift up. So four gears seems optimal for this car. It now will change to six gears. So one, I mean second, a bit high there. Third. It's quite high, I shouldn't really be in 7,000 plus, and then shifting even more, like, uh, and then shifting again, and it's like 8,000. That's quite unnecessary for for the gears to be uh, shifting when it's when it's like that. It needs to be uh, lower revs because I'm just wasting time shifting. I'm not really gaining any more power from the power band being in that high revs. I'm also getting a different car, I'll show you my TVR. This has even less gears, it only has three. Where the see because the first gear is quite high because you get a lot of wheel spin. So it goes to about a hundred and then I'm in like six thousand on a shift into second. And then I'm gonna go around this corner. I'm gonna shift into third. That's about 6.5, well, just a bit less, like about 6,000 when I shift into third. And that only has three gears, that was the last gear. So, uh, not wasting much time shifting at all. And as you can see with this car, 6,000 is very close to maximum, uh, maximum power there. So you don't really want to be revving any higher than 6,000 with the gears. So three gears is pretty good. Like I'll be always in the highest power area and not really going to be uh, going much lower than that because of you know, the the way this car is. Because you can rev quite high into the red line, as you can see just there. And. Uh, 
I'll get in a different car this time. I'll get in my uh, a B class car, like a lower class. Say this dyno. With lower classes, you'll generally want more gears because you spending more time in the gears because it takes longer to shift because you're going slower. But uh, kind of depends on the car. So with this one, I'll want wanting to be in like maybe five six because it's it's quite low. You don't increase uh, the power much, a power line the orange one. So wanting to be in about six and above. So if I was to tune this car for the gears, I'd uh, want to keep like uh, in 6,000 as soon as I shift up after redlining the previous gear. Also, the transmission can be a way to save PI too. If you have the stock transmission, like not, not in that car, but say in this Mustang, the stock transmission and the race transmission have much higher PI but you don't really need all the gears that the race transmission provides. So with this uh, with this transmission, you can say use three or four or five. I'm not really sure if this can go to five. Oh yeah, it can if you go all the way to acceleration, but the fifths are an awkward gear, which is why the PI is funny. But you only really want four anyway, or three, which you can do with this transmission. So it's quite a good PI save, and it'll make you faster. So it's a win-win, really. But uh, let's look at the power band to see really what I want to be revving in. So this is quite a high revving car, so maybe you want six and a half, seven thousand area to be uh, in when you shift up. So. Uh, Maybe you want four gears instead of three because you want to be staying in quite high revs. So uh, I'm going to go test this. So we just go down this straight here. So I want to shift off in about six ish, six thousand revs roughly. Which is pretty good for this car. I don't think you really need to be too much higher, maybe seven. But uh, again, shifting might uh, the shift times might be slowing you down more than being in higher revs is speeding you up. So uh, you got to really just test around. Really, testing is one of the best methods to show it. You can you know do the power band like I was showing there. It's quite it's a lot quicker than testing. Just like oh, I need to be in this revs all just the gears but uh, we'll say it's not just about drag strip you know his races as well so I'll show you in my Aston Martin this quite more technical track so yeah I go in like most of the time I'm spending in third and fourth around here so I'm in like third gear around this corner and uh, so you're in third for like a fair long a bit of time or in third and fourth really so if you're tuning for a specific track you might want to only mess around in the third and fourth gears and test uh, you know test uh, how high you want them to rev or how you know the the different areas where you're revving in so it can be quite different for specific tracks, but overall you'll probably just want less gears to reduce shifting time. Like uh, in Rivals it can be quite different because you're tuning for a specific track and you know staying in a certain amount of gears. But like here, if I stayed in one gear, it might be quicker because I don't have to shift between third and fourth, but it might not, you'll just have to test it. But uh Overall, you should be quicker with less gears if you use the method I've been showing you. But uh, so that's the, like lower class cars. Uh, but uh, high class cars, like uh, what I'm going to get in now. So my Maserati, yeah, it's quite a 
high class, high power, good acceleration. So I'm going to get in here and go down this straight. I accelerate the revs go up very fast, so you might want even less gears in this car, even though it has six. You might only want like three or four again because it increases the revs quite fast. So even if it's below, like you know, the power is fairly low, then you might still want to be revving in there for a bit because it's only a short time and it might save more time than shifting. But again, you'll have to test on the drag strip or test wherever else. You can test in rivals as well, that can also work, but you just gotta remember to be keeping your lines and stuff consistent, otherwise, you know, other factors can be affecting your time. So that's why I like doing drag strips. But anyway, I guess that's about it. All you need to do is just test. It's can't stress enough how important that is. But uh yeah, let me know if it makes you guys have faster cars, better times, and we'll see you later. Goodbye.